Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tony Tom, back with another video. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, recently recovering from a cold, so, you know, if you hear a lot of that choppiness, a lot of that scratching that's going on in my voice, don't worry about that. You know, it's important that I get this video out because I want you guys to know about these natural medications and also a lot of this diet routine, right? So, let's go ahead and move on. Now, this is mainly, this is for everybody and anybody, but mainly for folks who have COPD, and that's compulsive obstructive pulmonary diseases. Pretty much when you have a wide range of lung diseases going on with you, a way to bronchitis, pneumonia, asthma, um, allergic retinitis, if I'm saying that correctly, you know, all that stuff. If you're experiencing tightness in your chest, if you're experiencing a lot of that phlegm buildup, you know, sinusitis, mucus in your airways, all that stuff, right? Hopefully I can help you out. You're most likely somebody who knows, like a family, friend, a relative that needs this information. Or you're probably somebody who needs this information, period. So with that being said, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And plus, share this video with those people. Your support means a whole lot. Alright, let's get into it. So first, starting off with diet, before I go into the natural medicine part of it. So, I live by the saying, you are what you eat. So especially for folks who are COPD, this applies a lot, right? So, if you eat heavy, you feel heavy. If you eat light, you feel light. If you eat right, you become right. Right? All right. No pun intended. Seriously, depending on what you eat can mean something bad or good for your health. You may have to make some sacrifices. Also, too much of anything is a bad thing. But some things are in moderation. Why do I say some things? Because those other things you want to have in your routine to keep your health up. And some stuff just isn't needed. You definitely want to cut down on the greasy foods, on sugary foods as well. Super ultra fatty foods, right? Junk food, freezer foods. I guess that falls into the department of highly processed. And I'm not trying to tell you what to eat or how to eat, right? Tony Tone just wants to see you living your best life. Like, I've, I've gone through it, trust me. Dealing with the highest extremities of COPD, I wouldn't want anybody to go through that, honestly. So hopefully this diet routine helps you out. So when I get up in the morning, I have a smoothie consisting of avocado, lemon, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, right? So that's pretty much all the berries, avocado, and lemon. It all has to be organic, right? It's got to be organic. It's got to be clean. So make sure you go to your nearest Whole Foods or you go to your nearest farmer's markets or wherever you are that has organic fruits and stuff. You want to grab all that. Also, I forgot one. Papaya. Add papaya to the list. Papaya really helps in your digestive health, your gut health, all that. And here's a little trick that you can use to prolong the shelf life of your fruits. Real simple. What you want to do is take some white distilled vinegar. Take a cup of that, right? You want to put that in your sink that's filled up halfway with cold water. You want to submerge all your berries in there. Why the berries? Because, I mean, it's common sense says they have much more sensitive skin than all the other fruits, right? On the list. Lemon, avocado, and papaya. Let them soak for 30 minutes. Take them out. Put them in the appropriate size Ziploc bags, right? Squeeze all the water and all the air out of them. Chuck them in the freezer. And plus, when you get up and blend them in the morning, or if you want to have another one in the afternoon or before nighttime before you go to bed, you know, you'll have that cold smoothie-like con consistency, right? Another thing I do is chicken bone broth. I have this before I go to bed. Chicken bone broth helps you in a wide array of things, right? It definitely helps folks who have asthma. It reduces the symptoms. It also has a lot of protein in it. Helps you get a good night's sleep. It also cuts up and gets all that phlegm up out of you. It also promotes very good gut health. It helps heal and also recover and restore that leaky gut. And you know, for protein, I have egg whites. I boil my eggs, that's what I do. I boil them, peel the skin or the shell off them, right? You know, I peel the boiled egg open, take out the, the solidified yolk that looks like a yellow orb, throw it in the trash and boom. And also, really important, I should have mentioned this, 
make sure you guys are drinking spring water daily, okay? Spring water when you're making your smoothies and also your tea that I'm finna mention next. But real quick, guys, um, honestly, for people who have COPD or just asthma and bronchitis, a plant-based lifestyle would fit you and suit you better. But you don't have to if you don't want to go that route. I mean, I'm not plant-based and I find myself in the best shape of my life and the best health of my life, right? You know, pasta's still one of my favorite all-time dishes. I catch myself indulging in macaroni and cheese. Yes, it's dairy. Yes, it's thick. But I've gotten my body to a healthy point to where I can have that. That's the whole point of the smoothie, the bone broth, and, you know, anything else in between that's, like, light and healthy. But, yeah. Now, let's move on to the teas. Now, natural medication is very potent. Too much of it can make you sick. I know that for a fact. I was vegetarian or plant-based for four years. I mainly did it just to cure up a lot of those red flags with health. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, I've gotten back to pretty much eating the things that I want to eat. Or to my own balanced diet, right? Sorry, diet. And mainly overall health. And when it comes to natural medication, it comes in three forms. It comes in capsule form, tea form, and also root form. If you take a look at ginger, the root, how it comes out of the ground, you can slice up three pieces of ginger, put in hot boiled water. You got yourself some ginger tea with, you know, a spritz of uh, lemon and also add honey. Yeah, you got that. Capsule form, ideal for people who are on the go a lot. You know, teas for homebodies, but, you know, if you're traveling out to places and you can make it work, you know, it, 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 it can all work out for you. Let's go ahead and get these teas. Because I only got three minutes of video footage time left. All right, the most important one that a lot of people with COPD and also other stuff like diabetes and inflammation, what they need to have in their cabinet, everybody, is Tulsi ginger and turmeric tea with lemon in it. If it doesn't have lemon, no problem. Just get an organic lemon, squeeze it in there, and your and your tea, and there you go. Now the brand does matter, guys. Top two favorite trusted brands are Celebration Herbals and also Organic India. I like this because it's got three of them. One, but this helps out with a lot of stuff as far as you know, uh, inflammation in the joints, diabetes, definitely clearing up your lungs opening up your airways, getting all that phlegm and stuff out. It helps out with a lot of stuff. So this is definitely what you need to have in your cabinet. Let's see. You got mullein leaf. Mullein definitely targets the lungs individually. Helps clear everything up. But like I said, not too much. Just pretty much all these teas, you just want to do one tea bag. But this is some powerful stuff right here. I've done it before and it helped me out a whole lot. Next up, astragalus. So, astragalus pretty much just targets the upper respiratory. It also does other small stuff, but, you know, the upper respiratory is what it's mainly for. So, that's definitely an important one you need to have in your cabinet. You know, it's turmeric and ginger without the Tulsi by Celebration Herbals. So, you know, I mean, if you don't mind it without the Tulsi, then that's for you. Explain the same thing like I did with the Organic India brand. Licorice Root. It helps you soothe your lungs. So if you got all that hyper tension going on, you're breathing in and out really fast, your chest is very heavy, and you know, uh, everything hurts, you're in pain, everything's inflamed, this is for you. It's going to calm all that down, it's going to cut all that down, and you'll be able to get a good night's rest. Also, Slippery Elm. Now, a lot of folks may not consider this part of the COPD list, but um, or I normally wouldn't, but I do because... It creates this lubricant and smooth film in your throat. So all that phlegm can come up out of you to where there's no longer a sore throat. I need to take this tonight, but I've just been letting my body recover on its own a lot lately. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just real quick, when you're coughing up phlegm, your phlegm can mean different colors. White means there's a viral infection. Yellow and green means there's a bacterial infection present. Red or yellowish pink or... Pink is red, I'm sorry. It means that there's a lot of those dead cells and stuff in your lungs from coughing up too hard and it's trying to get up out of there. Just a quick fact. But yeah, hopefully I was able to help you guys out. You can get these in root form, tea form, like I just showed you, or pill form. But yeah, anyways, I'm Tony Tone. Glad I could help. Hopefully I did help you guys out. 
You guys have a good one. Stay well. See you on the next video.